Howdy folks, Brett here. If you own a smart TV with Google TV built in or have a Google TV streaming device in their app store, there are thousands of apps for you to choose from. Separating out the good from the bad, in this top 20, I'll count down the best apps to install on Google TV, some of which are actually free. With 20 to get through, we'll go through each of these quickly. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number 20 is Pandora, which is the first of two music apps in this countdown. Founded way back in the year 2000, it's hard to believe that it's been around for 25 years. This free music service, which now also has podcasts, lets you create personalized stations based on artists, songs, or genres. And their thumbs up and thumbs down system makes those stations even better. In addition to Pandora's free plan, it lets you listen to your personalized stations ad free and replay songs with plans that start at $4.99 per month. I've always found the free plan to be suitable and the number of ads is not too bad. Next up, coming in at number 19, is one many of you have probably never heard of called Shout TV, which we think is very highly underrated. This app is great for watching cult status B-movies, both old and new, and a good selection of old TV shows, some of which have been remastered in HD, including the classic episodes of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Shout TV is a free ad-supported service. To get rid of the ads, they now have membership plans that are $3.99 per month or $39.99 per year. Our number 18 pick, the Roku channel, is an odd one for this video. Roku, competitors of Google TV, are the makers of the Roku streaming devices and Roku TVs. And they have an app that you can use on Google TV. On here, it features hundreds of TV shows, movies, including original content that's only available on this service, along with live TV, all for free, with less commercials than what you'd see on traditional broadcast TV. A couple of Roku originals to check out is the wrestling docuseries WWE Next Gen. And released a few years ago is the Emmy-winning film Weird, The Al Yankovic Story. Curiosity Stream, coming in at number 17, is another underrated streaming service deserving of more attention than it gets. On here, you'll find nonfiction programs and on demand documentaries on a wide range of topics, including nature, technology, geology, chemistry, astrophysics, and many others. Plans on Curiosity Stream are around $40 per year or $5 per month. In the number 16 spot is AMC Plus, which features thousands of hours of movies and TV shows from various providers. Those include Sundance Now, Shudder, BBC America, IFC Films Unlimited, and AMC itself. Popular shows on here include Gangs of London, Into the Badlands, Dark Winds, and every show in the Walking Dead universe. Pricing for AMC Plus starts at around $7 per month, this is one of those services we only subscribe to for a few months at a time, then resubscribe months later after enough new content has been made available. Hulu at number 15 is a streaming service for watching TV shows and films. Sadly, since Disney took full control of it, the quality of content has been diminishing quickly. In addition to their original content, you'll find shows on here from ABC and the FX network, some of the more popular shows on here include Only Murders in the Building, The Bear, and Alien Earth, which by the way, had a terrible season finale. Right now, getting Hulu on its own is $9.99 per month. It's a better deal to get it as part of a bundle with pricing that starts at $10.99 per month. Coming in at number 14 is another app from the folks at Disney, the decent but much overhyped Disney Plus streaming service. As the owner of Hulu, you can watch Hulu content on the Disney Plus app as well. You'll find an extensive catalog of TV shows and films on here from Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar, and Disney itself. Just like Hulu, the best deal to get Disney Plus will be in one of their bundles that start at $10.99 per month. Now for something different. Our number 13 pick is called the Plex Media Server, which I've recommended in the past in our free software series. When you have Plex Media Server installed on a PC, NAS, or other device, it lets you stream your content directly from your media server to another device. For example, on a PC, you would download the Plex Media Server to it and add your media, 
movies, TV shows, music, or any other audio or video file. Then after installing their app on Google TV, you'd be able to play your media from your PC in the Plex Media Server app on your television. Plex Media Server is free to use. They do offer premium plans with additional features, but for most people, the free plan will be all that they need. Coming in at number 12 is Tubi. Of all the free ad-supported apps on Google TV to watch movies and TV shows, it's one of the best. They now have more than 40,000 titles in their library, which far exceeds Netflix, which averages around seven to 8,000. While it may not offer the latest blockbusters, like some of the apps already mentioned, you should be able to find something on here to watch for free. They also offer original content on here you won't find elsewhere. And just like another service I mentioned earlier for fans of wrestling, Tubi does offer its own docuseries called WWE Evolve. In at number 11 from the folks at NBC Universal is Peacock TV, offering both on demand and live content. In addition to what you'd find on the NBC Universal networks, it has original shows like Poker Face and The Paper, and has live sporting events, including Sunday Night Football, Premier League Soccer, NASCAR, and it's the streaming home for the Olympics. Peacock no longer offers a free plan. Pricing starts at around $8 per month, but the selection is limited. To get access to their entire catalog, pricing starts at $10.99 per month. Now for our top 10, and coming in at number 10 is HBO Max, which has tons of content, both new and old, from various networks. On here, you'll find films and shows from HBO, Discovery Channel, Food Network, HGTV, and they have their own original content. Some of the more popular shows on here include The Pit, House of the Dragon, The White Lotus, and The Last of Us. HBO Max has reduced their standalone price, with plans that start at $9.99 per month. In at number 9, Paramount Plus is another one with original content plus content from various networks. It includes shows and movies from CBS, the Paramount Network, MTV, Nickelodeon, and many others. Notable shows on here include Tulsa King, South Park, Landman, and every Star Trek series going back to the original is on here as well. Paramount Plus has two plans and they both give you a one week free trial. Essential for $7.99 per month is ad supported and you get selected shows from Showtime. Premium for $12.99 per month is ad free with the exception of live events and you get all of the shows from Showtime. Coming in at number 8 is the Apple TV app where you can watch Apple original shows and movies on the streaming service Apple TV+. If you're looking for high quality TV shows and movies, it's one of the best. Popular shows on here include Ted Lasso, your Friends and Neighbors, Slow Horses, Severance, and Silo. Apple TV Plus is free for three months when you buy any Apple device, and you can get it for $12.99 per month after a seven-day free trial. Spotify, coming in at number seven, is the best of the music services we've used on Google TV. Just about every artist is on here. In addition to listening to music, they now also have podcasts. You can use Spotify for free, but you do have to deal with ads, can't play songs in order, and you can't download them to listen offline. Some other plans have a one month free trial, after which plans range from around $6 per month up to around $20 per month. Coming in at number six, Pluto TV offers hundreds of channels with TV shows, movies, news, sports, and other stuff. They have a grid layout that is very similar to cable and satellite with programming in just about any category you can think of. Best of all, Pluto TV is completely free. In at number five is the ESPN app. If you're into sports like we are, this one is pretty much a necessity. It gives you access to all of the ESPN networks, ESPN Plus content, and for fans of college sports, it includes the SEC network and ACC network. It's not cheap. The ESPN standalone plan starts at $29.99 per month and bundled with Hulu and Disney Plus, they have a limited time offer where the pricing starts at $29.99 per month for the first 12 months. Coming in at number four is Prime Video from Amazon. If you pay for Amazon Prime, which is now $139 per year here in the US, Prime Video is included, but it now has ads. 
To get rid of the ads, it will now cost you an extra $3 per month. This app gets you access to thousands of movies and TV shows. Popular shows on the service right now include Fallout, Reacher, The Boys, and the Terminal List sequel, The Terminal List Dark Wolf. Now for our top three, and coming in at number three is a little known service for watching cat videos called YouTube. Just kidding around, you all know what this is, so let's move things along. YouTube is ad supported. To eliminate the ads and get other features, YouTube Premium is $13.99 per month. They also have a student plan for $7.99 per month and a family plan for up to five family members ages 13 plus that live in your household. That is $22.99 per month. They now have a plan called Premium Lite. For $7.99 per month, you can watch ad-free. The only exceptions are music and shorts. Even better than YouTube is our number two pick, YouTube TV. Having tested all the services that offer an experience similar to cable, this one is the best. With more than 100 channels, it has just about any channel you can think of, including local channels. A game changer for us is their multi-view, which allows you to watch up to four games at a time. This comes in handy during football season. It also lets you catch up on the key plays and has real-time stats. You'll often find that YouTube TV has promotional deals. One downside is the pricing. When we first got it years ago, it was $35 per month. The normal price now is around $83 per month, but at least it's still cheaper than cable. The number one app on Google TV is Netflix, which puts out so much content, it's impossible to watch everything. I'll skip the TV show and movie recommendations here. We have other videos for that. So let's skip to the pricing for Netflix. Standard with ads is $7.99 per month. The standard ad-free plan is $17.99 per month. And their premium plan that lets you watch in 4K is now $24.99 per month. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What are your favorite apps that you use with Google TV? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit the bell. Do not miss out on the latest in streaming, tech, and other stuff here on Pop Gumbo.